Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Nobara Linux and Windows 10 or 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all open your web browser and search for Nobara Linux. Click on download Nobara from the official site and download the official latest version of Nobara Linux and once you have done that go to another tab and go to the official website of Rufus and then download the latest version of Rufus so once you have downloaded both files close everything and then insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and be sure to make a backup of your pen drive data because it will be lost and after that open downloads directory and open Rufus now it will automatically detect your pen drive and now click on select and select the Novara Linux ISO file which you just downloaded for the partition scheme select GPT and then click on start and click on OK now this process is going to take some time for you depending on your pen drive speed and I have already done it so I'm not going to do it again After that close everything and then right click on your start menu and open disk management. So after that right click on any local disk of your destination drive and click on select shrink volume. And after that give your desired space for Nobara Linux. I am going to give it 40 GB. And after that we need to reboot into our BIOS. Now while your computer is restarting and showing vendor logo or motherboard logo we need to enter BIOS mode by pressing F2 key and after that you need to make sure that the secure boot is disabled. This process is different from laptop to laptop so be sure to check it out for your system. And after that press F10 to save the changes and reboot. Now while your computer is rebooting press the boot key which is either escape key or F12 key to open the boot selection menu and select the USB option to boot into Novara Linux and here select start Novara So finally we are put it into the live ISO of Novara Linux. So first things first we need to make sure that we are connected to the internet. So I'm just quickly going to connect to my Wi-Fi. So once you have connected to the internet close the Novara installer pop up and then open the installer again. Now select your installation language. I'm going to leave it as it is. Now it will automatically detect your time zone. And after that set your keyboard layout. After that this is the most important step. You need to select replace a partition. And you need to select the free space which you just created on Windows. As you can see it is 40 GB. So click on that and it will automatically create two new partitions one boot partition and one root partition and if you want you can select manual and create a swap partition as well so click on next now type your user details and your password Now it will give the brief summary of our installation. Be sure to check the partitions and click on install. Now this process is going to take some time depending on your hardware. So please be patient and I'm going to skip this process because it will take very long time.
so finally this process is completed now click on this restart now checkbox and click on done now it will automatically try to reboot the system and during this phase you can now remove your pen drive now as you can see it will directly boot into windows 11 so you don't need to panic we are going to fix this in windows 11 Now once you have put it into Windows 11, go to your Windows search and type CMD and run as administrator. Now type the following command. This command will be in the description box as well. So type bcd edit forward slash set space double quotation mark and then curly bracket and type boot mgr. Close the curly bracket and quotation marks and then type path and then type backward slash efi backward slash fedora backward slash grub x64 dot efi and then press enter now close cmd and restart your computer and this time it will show our grub menu to select operating systems so as you can see this is the grub menu now I'm going to boot into Novara Linux for now So as you can see we are successfully booted into Nobara Linux. Now I'm going to restart and try to boot into Windows from the grub menu. So as you can see we are also able to boot into Windows so this is the for the guide and if you want to see how to remove Novara Linux then watch till the end so now I'm going to show you how to remove Novara Linux from dual boot so for that you need to install one software called mini tool partition wizard so you can download it from the internet and install it like any normal program it is very simple and you will see the new two partition that were created during the Novara installation so you just need to delete those two partition one ext4 partition and one other partition so after that you need to go on windows search and type cmd and run it as administrator now type mount fold space capital s colon space forward slash s and after that you need to type s colon and after that you need to type cd space dot backward slash efi backward slash and after that you can type dir to see the contents of that directory as you can see we have a fedora directory so we need to remove the fedora directory so to do that type rd forward slash s and space fedora and type y now it will successfully remove the fedora directory and after that you need to type bcd edit forward slash set double quote curly bracket boot mgr space path backward slash efi microsoft boot boot 
mgfw.efi and press enter these commands will be in the description box below so you don't need to worry and after that your windows will boot normally as it is and Nobara Linux is successfully removed from the dual boot so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching and if you found this video helpful please leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you